Mission will be, let me tell you how, how your examination will be. Examination to learn to say, Opa. Send the examination question paper. Okay. Now I want you to look at this like today I have sent you this as I, uh, last week I have sent you this assignment, right? And you will be presenting to me company case. Am I correct? Right. Yes. Yes or no? Uh, yes, this one is for the chapter 7, ten. Eight, eight, nine. Yeah. Chapter 10, right? Oh. No, not chapter 10. Oh, sorry, sorry. 789. Seven, eight, seven, eight, okay, okay, hold on. Eh? Yes, 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 yes. You are correct. You are correct. So, I will show you. So, you are presenting today this company case. Am I correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, uh, for your exam matter, I want you to look at these questions. Your exam question will be mostly from here. So I'm okay. guiding you very, very specific. So you don't have to worry. Is it clear now? Uh, yes, clear. I want you to look at this discussion question and I want you to look at this critical thinking exercises. Okay, so every chapter, you will have this discussion and critical thinking. So you need to prepare yourself this one. There will be no multiple choice question, eh? MCQ. There will be short question and one essay question. And one of the essay question will be the case study. Clear? And the case study will be based upon the company case which you are presenting. Right? Clear the structure of the exam? So let me write it down again. Oh, what? Uh... How many chapters? Sorry? Uh, this exam, how many chapters? I'll let you know later on. Eh? Okay? Uh, yes. All right. So you will have a case study. Case study. I'll let you know later. Okay. So let's start today. Uh, today, basically, you are supposed to start your case study presentation, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I <coughs> allow you to start and let me see what you have done. And 10 minutes. A piece of Yeah. <clears throat> Can I start now? Sure. Or chapter seven. Uh, the question, the first question is using the full spectrum of segmentation variable, describe how Virgin America segments and tag as the market for airline service. Or in this, uh, there is, uh, I think, two questions. Uh, how Virgin America segments the market for airline service and 
called by the America target the market for airline service. Good. Uh, firstly, let me tell about the full spectrum of segmentation we involve. A mandate uh, segmenting consumer markets, segmenting business markets, and segmenting international markets. For segmenting consumer markets, uh, there is full segmentation, geographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, psychographic segmentation, a geographic segmentation is to uh, divide the market in different geographical units such as a nation, region, state, country, cities, or even geography. And demographic segmentation is uh, uh, especially age, life cycle, state, gender, income, occupation, education, religion, ethnicity, and generation. And for psychographic segmentation, uh, it's uh, especially social class, lifestyle, or personality characteristic. Behavioral segmentation uh, is also one of the segmentation. It's uh, especially consumer knowledge, attitudes, users of a product or reference to a product, and in addition, uh, occasions, uh, user status, usage rates, and royalty status. Uh, for the questions, how Virgin America segments the market for airline service? Uh, firstly, Virgin America knew that it could not succeed by playing the low price game. Uh, the pack of airline competitors were already beating each other up for low price premium. So, Virgin America targeted a segment of frequent flyers who were young, savvy, influential, and willing to pay just a little bit more for an airline that would take care of them. In this, uh, we can notice a uh, Virgin America target frequent flyers, uh, young, savvy, influential, and taking care of them. In this, we can see Virgin America consider about eight social class, lifestyle, personality characteristics, consumer knowledge, attitude, user status, usage rate, and royalty status. So it can be assumed that Virgin America segments the market with demographic, psychographic, and behavioral segmentation in different aspects. Okay, just stop here. Remember in the initial classes of your Facebook, yeah. I asked you to, and remember, I asked you to look at the target. Yeah. Can you see now connecting between initial classes of Facebook marketing and what you are presenting today? Uh, in Facebook marketing, uh, I can choose demographic segmentation. Right, right. Go ahead. How Virgin America, as a this uh, next question, how Virgin America target the market for airline service? In selecting target market segments, uh, it means a target market is a set of buyers who share common needs or characteristics that the family would like to sell. In selecting target market segments, this is a four step and differentiate that is supporting undifferentiated marketing or mass marketing, differentiated marketing, and concentrated marketing, and micro marketing. Uh, this is choose the target broadly, and this one is choose the target narrowly and efficiently and effectively. Undifferentiated marketing. Uh, undifferentiated marketing targets the whole market with one offer. It, uh, in general, mass marketing and focus on common needs rather than price difference. And differentiated marketing targets separate different market segments and design separate offer for each. Especially, uh, its goal is to achieve higher sales and stronger position. 
and it may be more expensive than and differentiated marketing. For concentrated marketing, it targets a lot of a smaller market, uh, for example, limited community resources, knowledge of the market, it's more effective and efficient. And micro marketing is tailoring products and marketing program to suit the taste of specific individuals and locations. Uh, it, uh, we can see rather in local marketing and individual marketing. And then, uh, in this, I mentioned four different types of marketing and differentiated, differentiated, concentrated, and micro marketing. Selecting target market segments. Uh, choosing a uh, targeting strategy also depends on company resources, product variability, product life cycle shape, market variability, and competitors' marketing strategy. In Virgin America's case, although all of Virgin America is successful, the airline industry is a tough place to survive and thrive. Virgin America knows that maintaining its high ranking will be a challenge. I mean, uh, Virgin, all, all, all those, Virgin America is successful, but uh, they know that that success is not for long term, so they must need to find uh, another thing to maintain their success. So it expands into new markets, particularly markets with cold climates. In cold climates, it can increase the cancel or delay flights. So Virgin America announced Alaska Airlines known for a high level of service and customer loyalty. By seeing this, Virgin America targeted the market especially for cold climate area. So with such a strong and unique targeting toward the specific segment of the industry, Alaska Airlines is taking on an unusually profitable airline with a strong service record. It means uh, not usual profit, uh, unusual profitable airline, and li like other airlines not considered at this point. So they choose the cold climate market and uh, trying to make uh, Alaska airline with strong service record. So by seeing this, in this case, Biden America obviously use concentrated marketing. So uh, let me finish my presentation. Thank you. Yes, obviously you have understood the case study very well. And this is exactly what I expected. First, need to explain the concept and then how the case is elaborating the concept and then concluded. Well done, doctor. Appreciate that. Keep it up. And all of you should prepare this way. So in the exam also, you should explain the case study. This is the way. But in the exam case study, you need to elaborate more. Thank you, sir. Okay, well done. Thank you very much. Okay, Thanks. next, please. Can I stop that? Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, next. Uh, please, uh, just please, I am Google Lab. 
uh, to business my proper assignment chapter seven. Mm -hmm. Chapter seven. Okay. I study this chapter seven top base. Uh, do you see my voice? Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. I can okay, hear okay. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, our business chapter seven is top is customer value, private marketing strategy. Uh, question number 720. Which market targeting strategy is for the American following? Justify your answer. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I want us to highlight uh, to present my PowerPoint with uh, uh, to succeed with this airline business, uh, how to solve, um, how to how to face the customer and how to study the market area. Uh, uh, I will present the highlight uh, as follow. Uh, uh, first line is a um, position and market area. Uh, this is United States and Europe, where other competitive airlines already established uh, uh, the justified uh, the, the market area. And then uh, the differentiators, although Airline functions are same, but they are target value. Uh, they are target. They are target. They are value on customer. These two was value of marketplace and high customer value. And then target and segmentation. Uh, I would like to present a good gaming methods, a deep and deep decision in time of market needs and. Customer compliance. Uh, this is uh, a uh, solving uh, problem uh, the two customer. Uh, this first to market area and customer compliance, which is highlight sub to customer and, and highlight sub to customer uh, through local and international fashion. Uh, and by through in local and international fashion, uh, we know about market today. And then uh, I would like to business customer consumer market analysis and sub problem and compliance. And uh, this is highlights, uh, uh, this is highlight. Uh, first, uh, job profit, right chooses area, a uh, good uh, demographic, and uh, human customer population, own origin and factor. And psychographic, observe the society of personnel. And then uh, behavior of it and the, uh, uh, this airline business uh, to submit to certify on each customer level by survey and providing strong compete on market and customer needs. And then air logo expressed, uh, air logo expressed, they came, you are prepared first and profits will follow. And then customers centric as a uh, focus on a pro, uh, focus, a centric is a focus. Approach is enough to gain for goodwill in market. Now, this is a right customer to start a long time in the market. And then, what viewing facility? She wanted this segment. And then, sources program for the fully airline. Uh, uh, this airline business uh, defines sources program. They said these are project management and controlling. Controller institutes a trend. Choose update branded for comfort and satisfaction airline. Uh, the, uh, they have uh, they have some uh, 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 some for the creation and uh, the branded things uh, they use. And then new technology effect on safety and um, speed motion using local and um, international method. And for anywhere. And revenue over the procedures and legally and socially. And then, and then I would like to highlight the topics uh, different factors between virtual American and competitive uh, to succeed uh, this business. Uh, problem solving in time and response for compliance through key ones and needs needs by addition to market customer, more efforts to customer, consumer, and partner, uh, um, more gift uh, of the relationships to them. Retain protest value with good survey. 
because uh, this have a uh, smart uh, technology, smart branded and app technology that uh, they use. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, they get them a uh, product value and uh, through the product value, uh, they get them a market share confirmed and by a customer confirmed and a long time stamp they are safe. Uh, and uh, they can complete them other competitors and uh, partner airline. Why decision compared with competitive, uh, competitive, that is not main for that by reducing, uh, uh, by, uh, by reducing like this. Uh, uh, they give the favors to customer. Uh, customer needs, customer wish, and customer requirements. And uh, they solve in time, anywhere, anytime, in any solving problem that they have there, good method, the good, uh, good procedure. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, now, okay, you have made it in a point forms. Um, what I would like you to do, like uh, target marketing, some of the concept you need to define first. And then from the definition, you need to explain a little bit how Virgin America is applying that concept into their business. Uh, okay, you have made it in a point form, but I want you to write in examination time more into concept clarification and essay type. Okay? Okay, well, thank you. Right. Thank mm. you. But, but you have done pretty well in terms of understanding but presentation need to be more focused. Okay, right. I will find this question. Wonderful, thank you. Next, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Ah, good afternoon, uh, yes. I studied this company, the Virgin America. The segmentation and targeting is, I think, you also highlighted. I want to highlight most uh, in the differentiations of positioning. I very like the differentiation in the market, uh, especially they choose the market target for the gen people. Then they make the differentiation in the service. So. They make more entertainment things in the airline. Then they, uh, one of the things is they are the very fast company in the Silicon Valley, the airline company in the Silicon Valley. So they have the uh, contact with the, another technology based entrepreneur, the uh, executive, then they can improve their technology based uh, entertaining system in the airline. So. Uh, this is a different shape in the market. Then positioning also, they are, they don't compete in the low price. If they are at a low price, then they, they, they charge a little bit more expensive, but they give them more entertainment and facility. Uh, that, that is my understanding for this case company. Uh, mm. my, today, uh, today, my question is this, uh, the budget maker, uh, what are the potential issues of the budget maker following the Alaska airline acquisition? Will budget America continue to appeal to the same types of the customer one on one now? I think that that's the main point of the differentiation that uh, budget America, they also want to expand the market. That's why they want to acquire the Alaska airline. Uh, Alaska Airlines West Coast based airline. So they uh, uh, they also have the very good customer loyalty and high service. Mm -hmm. So in here, I think the Alaska airline acquisition, the main issue is style and quality of service because uh, Virgin America culture is uh, a little bit different with the other airlines. The uh, culture is fan creative. Then their core value is that they 
the richer person they said take care of your people first then profit will follow that's the core value so they using some technology uh, in the airline uh, for the facility entertainment and comfortable to travel and fly so the passenger they were feeling they can control their self you know uh, how to say that they are not feeling in the flight traveling this is like the old their home so they, they provide this service to the customer so they also have the uh, very high quality robot and they have the number one in the Edua airline quality robot there's a big differentiation supporting to the feature to the customer I think. so Virgin America continued to be the same type of customer uh, when they acquired the Alaska airline very differentiated in marketing to the customer so Alaska also the small West Coast based airline they also have the high level service and customer loyalty so I I think Alaska Airlines will also get the Virgin America benefit as strong services. So uh, there is no problem in the same types of the customer that, that I, I got. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah, very good. Uh, you have tried to explain. Well done, Paipo. Okay. Good. Keep that kind of short and sweet. The diagrammatic concept approach and the concept need to be uh, concept need to be more onto uh, little explanatory and then application. That's how you need to approach the case study. All right, yeah. very good. Thank you. Okay, next chapter. This is chapter seven, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Is there any more question in chapter seven? No question. No question. Okay, so we go on to chapter eight. For chapter eight. Uh, the question is, how do the four characteristics of service apply to Airbnb? How mm -hmm. does Airbnb deal with each characteristic? Mm -hmm. So there are five questions, right? Yeah. In chapter eight? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There is uh, four characteristics of service uh, in chapter eight. Uh, it uh, mentioned about products and service in this mm -hmm. question. Uh, it uh, to explain characteristics of service. Okay. Four characteristics of service it intangibility, variability, inseparability, and perishability. Mm -hmm. It all linked with the service. Uh, let me explain one by one. Intangibility, mm -hmm. it means service cannot be seen, taste, felt, touch, or smell before purchase. Mm -hmm. In Airbnb case, like many service industry, hotel companies ensure the quality of customer experience through standardization. Airbnb is an online community marketplace that connects people who want to rent space in their homes and with those who are looking for accommodation. Mm -hmm. Airbnb link the two. People who want to rent space in their homes with who looking for accommodation. Mm -hmm. Airbnb doesn't own any lodging properties, mm -hmm. so it, it's like <laughs> we can't see taste of fowl or hat. Airbnb has taken the uncertainty of staying in a stranger's house and turned it into an asset. It mm -hmm. uh, with intangibility. For variability, 
It means quality of service depends on who provides them and when, where, and how. Variability at best. People said strangers would never stay with strangers and horrible things are going to happen. In this consideration, Airbnb overcame this by standard rating system for both hosts and guests. In this, uh, we can consider that quality of service depends on who provides them. So uh, they, they need to know who provides the, this service, Airbnb overcame this by standard rating system for both hosts and guests. Uh, he, 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 uh, Airbnb have a rule to, to be, uh, how to say, they has a standard rating system or for, for toilet, uh, how it would be for dining room or for bedroom, how it would be. They have standard rating points for both hosts and guests. So this point is also okay. And in separability, service cannot be separated from their provider. Airbnb puts guests and host minds at ease with its verification process tips for safe and satisfactory bookings and a 24-hour trap and safe hotline. Airbnb does not separate service provider and service. Airbnb always link between service provider and service or 24-hour like this and 24-hour trap and safe hotline. Parachivality, service cannot be stored for later sales or use. Or uh, for this point, uh, we can see that match in Airbnb case, but uh, we, we can see uh, there's a rule, like uh, some cities do not allow the rental of personal property for any duration less than 30 days. Uh, for like this rule, uh, it's a link with parachivality. So those kinds of limitation is relatable with perishability issue. Uh, this is my presentation and uh, this is how I consider characteristics of service and Airbnb case. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now you have very much understood how it would be presented. Very good, well done. All of you should follow his style, then you will find yourself good. Thank you. Okay, next please. Okay, please. Uh, this is my bar, why to the H fish? Okay. Yes. Please, I would like to uh, uh, present a uh, topic is product, service, and brands, premium customer value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some very question on map, H90. Applying the solvent profit chain concepts to Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to present this uh, business, but also the full main does and good services to Airbnb service uh, 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 this is as follows uh, first um, people refer to customer feeling through process operator mindset have good service a uh, good patience to customer and uh, they can help anywhere anytime uh, to satisfy their customer and then uh, position to study to normal position to strategy change in time with hospitality and authentic function to customer uh, 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 effectively and useful everything like main house for gas range. I would like to business uh, this arrange first to customer 
through paid worldwide global network effort is to customer and market value with the rise of our aim with the rise of our aim service to customer and worldwide global network and paid and by market condition and no customer needs wish to smell facility and he can line this survey facility mm -hmm. and then and this is a very fast uh, uh, the includes uh, as follow Airbnb because means even you may not be forward to there you may be live there this is uh, they link to the customer every time to specify that they have ready for customer and market and service mean intangible products so the creation creation of host and operators to customer satisfaction and feeling one customer's idea chain able to touch with is is amazing and rise to a bear this is upgrade and from old to new and then i would like to present this life cycle or the products and services uh, um, and that's to uh, the by products um uh, uh, we start the design strategy for products and again technology um, and then i will do the production and get the products and um, to set and um, uh, to distribute uh, this products as a market survey approach this process uh, it can do the this day and then this initial stage before production before production products and then after our marketing survey uh, they can get them market share or something and um, um, uh, sub to customer this is a good service and purchasing how to purchase how to sell and how to get favor to the customer and then update technology products and uh, for for my products and uh, we attach and uh, um, um, always always analyze to uh, my products uh, and then we stand and base a long time right uh, customer partner partner and other community data is a product and a survey life cycle uh, from start to end process and then a pm product to build customer value i think customer value consists to get a fun family normal to create a service eh? and normal it can offer to customer so that every credit and every certificate uh, to customer so the survey is a very important and survey is a your dream i think so the define the uh, first is a airbnb define and then quality update technology and packaging creation decoration and uh, this is to certify and uh, their products and uh, our products and design and feature good service to customer a pm provides to customer value to get the customer value you know, a pm provides uh, the, the depend on uh, the case study uh, uh, this is a phase uh, convenience customer to get the convenience always and warranty and to save and safety and uh, intangible feeling you cannot express this feeling you cannot express this feeling because it is uh, in my mind uh they are coming in my mind uh, to affect uh, to the customer and delivery uh, the delivery and then variability one way how depend on customer customer affects to me customer complain uh, so that they can uh, the, uh, they will be considered about this for us every time and uh, variability uh, they can also do but also they can affect to the customer and uh, 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 this day to the for this to the good service by getting the good service uh, and then to the uh, we get the customer value and market value we can get 
this S mine power one. Okay, good. You have explained pretty well. Keep it up. Mm, but in the exam time, you have to write what you are telling me in presentation. Is it clear? Kokolan? Hi. Yeah. Uh, you have. What do you mean? Uh, in, during the examination time, you have to explain what you have presented. Do you follow me? โอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอาวิทรายโอเคโอเคอา
the last question. When is uh, how much of threat in competition to Airbnb? Yeah, I'm not sure that, but this is my opinion for the threat of the Airbnb. When is a uh, authentic host and guest? Because uh, this both of the body they don't see before, so they are using the online marketplace. They are searching the host, so the host also looking for the guest. So they have to uh, worry about the authentication of the people. The another <coughs> one is legitimacy. This one is some of the country they have the legally they prohibited something. So stranger would never steal stranger, they say. So definitely we haven't seen before. We don't want to stay at the home. So this is one of the threat for them. So this restraining is someone they have never met. Uh, but well, how they uh, how how they solve this problem? They make the same authentic calls and guess they have the same set up authentication question. This one will be answer the next question. So guests can contact potential calls and question before booking. Uh, the guests they can uh, contact the Host before they uh, book the uh, book the room, then they have any question. How is the facility of that? So some city do not allow the rental of person proper property for any duration less than thirty days. Some of the country they have the prohibited to renting the house or properties for the temporary visit person. So that that is the one of the threat. So my understanding is to threat in this question. Yeah. Another Thank question. Mm -hmm. Another yeah. question is where well, Airbnb less as long as Hilton Worldwide has explained. So I, I think no, Airbnb will not last as long as Hilton has. Uh, because Airbnb already has a 2 million distance and 60 million cases through 34,000 cities in 191 countries. Uh, they have the very huge marketplace they already have the same threat before I mentioned it in the previous question, but they solve probably the they solve probably all these uh, threat. Uh, Airbnb set up the standard rating system, both hosts and guests, so uh, we can trust these hosts and guests for the uh, with the, this standard rating. So we can review. The, how is the host facility? And they also will mention in the photo and detail information is there. So they also can direct communicate with them. So Pride is very competitive, right? So we cannot convert the Hilton worldwide or the this one is very expensive one. The uh, Airbnb room is very cheap and good facility. Uh, also, they also provide the breakfast because the name is bed and breakfast. So Hilton cannot compete between host and guest relationship as well. Holiday is not very close to the host and guest. So Airbnb is not that the host and guest is very close relationship they build up. 100 years old Hilton worldwide, they have the 765,000 rooms. They have the 4,660 properties. Then the market value is 22 million. Sorry, I forgot. I think Airbnb market value is maybe 25 million. I forgot. Okay, so we can convert this to uh, Airbnb. Recently, they are in the marketplace, but they have the 2 million listing. But uh, Hilton, they have the 700, uh, 765,000 rooms only all over the world. So I, I think Airbnb cannot be that's as long as Hilton worldwide. Yeah, that, that's my answer. Thank you. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, well, you have done uh, okay, but if I were you to answer these questions, yeah, because the the focus is will last. Yeah, the question is will last. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that means the what they are asking you the question here. Uh, if I were you, can you stop sharing? Yeah, sure. If I were you, see the question is. Uh, 
the can you see my screen right yep okay the question is last so that means what you have to do you have to apply all marketing uh, strategy what does it mean that include the environment yeah. which environment airbnb and uh, and what do you call mm, uh, airbnb and the hilton, hilton is operating yeah. so you have to explain the micro environment and macro environment yes okay and yeah. then you have to also discuss pricing strategy of the both yeah you have to also discuss segmentation and targeting strategy of the both okay what you have done here you have explained into this entire more on to product yeah. isn't it mm. yes. but you you have left behind the environment strategy environment you have not uh, addressed the environment and pricing segmentation yes. right yes so all those factors need to be explained in a table form so whenever you are addressing any case study the case study the question got to understand very clearly what question is asking though it may be clubbed into product but it may be linked with all factors of the marketing strategy okay yes correct so this is for all of you to understand how the case study should be addressed yeah okay next thank you uh, you are doing pretty well but these are the things you need to handle very clearly yep sure okay okay that's why i have just sent an email you will be reading that the final examination will be focused on the chapters which i have given to you more on to those price product segmentation target oriented chapters which i have sent to all of you email okay next please thank you excuse me sir i have a one question sure uh, let me know the examination types how we will attempt exam the the sample i will i i i will send you email details that how you will attempt the exam the yeah. attempt the exam what will happen like what you are explaining right now case study perfectly right but need to write elaborate you are presenting you have understood the concept yeah you are perfectly you have understood the concept so i need to i need to check whether you are you know the concept or not and yeah. then you apply the concept into the actual behavior yeah. that's all you have to do nothing much yeah okay yeah good thank you next please next question <coughs> this is chapter 9 mhm mm the first question says based on concepts discussed in this chapter describe the factors that have contributed to boost new products success okay so uh, the key question is describe the factors right right boost new products success right new product uh, let me explain first new product development new product development refers to original products product improvements product modification and new brand develop from the farm's own research and development in new product 
development process, there are major stages in new product development. Firstly, idea generation, idea screening, concept development and testing, marketing strategy development, business analysis, product development, test marketing, and commercialization. I will explain by step by step. Firstly, idea generation. Idea generation is a systematic search for new product ideas. So just maybe internal or external. In, in this case, Amber Bose, founder of Bose Company, had a strong interest in the research of electrical engineering and also in music. When he purchased his first hi-fi system, a model he believed had the best specifications, he was disappointed at the system's ability to reproduce realistic sound. Then he began researching the problem and find his own solution. So in this case, in idea generation, there may be internal or external. The product is external because uh, he purchased from external. He purchased his first hi-fi system, but he did not satisfy, satisfy with this product. So her idea is came from inside. So it can be regarded as external. So it can assume as coming from external sources and becomes internal resources. Because he found out the product from outside of the company and later started by his own with his own fashion. And the next step is idea screening. Identify good ideas and drop poor ideas. In idea screening, there is the what RWW, real, when, what. Is it real? Can we win? Is it what doing? In this case, Amba both walked around certain core principles of the chemistry. In conducting his first research on speakers and sound, he did something that has been repeated time and time again at both. He ignored existing technology and start entirely from scratch. By seeing this, we can see this. Identifying good ideas and drop poor ideas. He identified good ideas and drop, he ignore existing technology. So he dropped the poor ideas and start entirely from scratch. So it became real and even they can win and it may what working. And the next is concept development and testing. There is three things, product idea, product concept, and product image. Product idea is an idea for a positive product that the company can see itself offering to the market. And the product concept is detailed version of the product idea stated in meaningful consumer terms. And the product image is the way consumer passive and actual or potential product. And concept testing refers to testing new product concept with groups of target consumer. In this case, Amber Post put profits into research and development to produce highest quality product. It likes testing new product, so he puts its profits into research and development. In doing so, he figure out what customers want, instead keeping his research in the laboratory. He centered on technical specifications of creating a superior product, so it can be regarded as product idea product concept and product image. 
uh, for product idea, he, he the way he think is what customer want that want. So he can get product idea from this thinking and product concept. He try instead keeping only in the laboratory and he center on technical specifications and creating a superior product. This is he want to maintain the product image by creating superior product. The next is marketing strategy development. Marketing strategy development is designing an initial marketing strategy for a new product based on the product concept. Marketing strategy statement consists of target market description, value proposition plan, sales, market share, and marketing needs. In this, designing an initial marketing strategy for a new product based on the product concept is called marketing strategy development. In this case, the company that starts so humbly becomes more product lines beyond its core home audio line. It's like his original product from his original product line he wants to expand more product line. It's like a new product based on the product concept. Additional lines include military, automotive, home building, remodeling, professional and commercial sound system. It expands from its original product line, audio line, and he extends more product concept like this. And the next is business analysis. Business analysis is a review of the sales, cost, and profit projection for a new product to find out whether these products satisfy the company's objectives. In this case, Ford's first product was a speaker introduced in 1965. Ford made 60 but sold only 40. There are 901 direct reflecting speaker system launched in 1968. At a time, one woofer, tweeters, and size mean everything, the 901 series block. In this case, Amber Post knew the weak point from retail salesperson that 901 model does not include woofer and tweeter. So by seeing this, we can see the sales, cost, and profit projection for a new product. He made 901 model, but it's not that successful because at, the, at that time, woofers and tweeters and sites are more popular. So the, this 901 series block. So he analyzed this case and found that from retail sales person, because their 901 model does not include UFAS and Twitter. This is like business analysis. And the next is product development. To resolve this problem, both develop another model by identifying and targeting the right customer with the products. It becomes best offering. So he create another model. It's like develop product development. And test marketing. Test marketing is a stage of new product development in which the product and its proposed marketing program are tested in realist, realistic market settings. One test marketing is likely uh, in test marketing, there is two points, likely and unlikely. When test marketing is likely, new product with large investment, uncertainty about product or marketing program. When test marketing is unlikely, simple line extension, copy of committed product, low cost, and management confidence. In this case, both target higher income customers who are audio buff 
who are not audible but want a good product and are willing to pay a premium price for it. So he tests new market. It's like new product with large investment. He target the higher income customer. It can it may be new product with large investment. It seems like new product with large investment. It's uncertain about marketing program, but at the time he does not have exact marketing plan, just testing the market. And commercialization. Commercialization involves introducing a new product into the market. When to launch, where to launch and plan market roll on. Introducing new product. In 1980, company changed conventional thinking about speaker size and sound. They introduced pound size speakers that can produce audio quality equivalent to high-end system with much more larger size. They created pound size speaker with the same quality with more larger size. That design was so popular. Both products are sold not only in launching time, it was so technologically advanced that Bo still sells it today. So uh, it's like uh, commercialization, uh, introducing a new product into the market. They created a new product, palm size speaker, and introduced to the market and when to launch, where to launch. They launched at that time, uh, but uh, still sells is today. Uh, they, we can see the effectiveness of that introducing new product. Uh, the first question was then, can I carry on? Uh, sure, sure, go ahead. Uh, the second question is, is both product development process customer center explain? In product development, successful new product development should be customer center, team based, and systematic. Customer center, new product development. Focus on finding a new ways to solve customer problem and creating more customer satisfying experience. Yes. It is customer center. By seeing this, we can see is customer center or not. Both commitment to research and development have contribute to the trust of customer. Customers know that the company cares more about their interests and about making the best products than about maximizing profits. As Amber both said, the potential size of the market? No, we have no idea. We just know we have different and so much better technology that may, that many people will want it. By seeing this, we can see the, how they center the customer. They always find in the new ways to make satisfying their customer by making the best products it's clear that it has been customer center. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention, sir. Good. You have done a good job. Any questions? Uh, can I stop, sir? Yes, please. You stop there. The another person. You have you you have definitely picked up very well. Mm, concept that how to handle case studies and I want to all of you to follow this method plus mixture of paper and uh, how you uh, come up with uh, mm, diagram is good okay go ahead thank you next Next, please. 
please allow us to request uh, chapter nine questions. I have arranged. Uh, you have some questions. Next question ninety. Uh, the next question I will uh, the questions to cycle for. Uh, the please request ninety question. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Is post product development process customer center? Uh, is okay. Paid? Okay. As for main factors for new products, uh, uh, by study this case, you know, I understand uh, to success uh, of new products, uh, main factors based on as follow. In post for CEO's concept is firstly to uh, research and product innovation, then second stage consider business before and after product. Uh, I think this means a uh, uh, Research and product innovation is very important. And uh, without those researches and uh, uh, researches and innovation, perfect. And uh, we cannot get the uh, new product. So that uh, before uh, before period is very important for new products. I think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. design based was simple and brilliant and functional. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the CEOs uh, the, the, uh, brace, uh, the, to change all product versions to new version to uh, mm -hmm. customer. Uh, this may I guess a favor to the customer. And then mm -hmm. three dash system with great technology. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the new idea for new product. And then mm -hmm. our had hard time for new service products by hiding technology top based. Uh, uh, but also the CEO can solve this problem uh, by by ligate the uh, 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 the host as operator uh, to customer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And one research progress on new products uh, uses mother targets to buy a customer who wants wants needs with flexibility. A just mm -hmm. customers and new products non condition technology. So that's. Mm -hmm. Now, condition uh, uh, we study and um, the process uh, the daily. Uh, mm -hmm. This process uh, we will solve. Uh, uh, we will update. Uh, uh, we update the next. Uh, we will uh, decide that. Uh, we will decide the next plan, and then mm -hmm. innovate to new next products by technology. Update with portability, normal speaker, ninety-five uh, mm -hmm. uh, normal speaker brand. And then 1968 at right and reflection speaker, a series, mm -hmm. one series plan. And then 1970 major speaker, 301. Mm -hmm. And then 1981, the orchestra web music as well. And brand to brand, uh, next to next, you know, uh, can produce uh, to uh, the customer. Uh, this uh, needs once and portable for customer. And then attract the portfolio owner and with new developed products by update technology. Um, for business, the portfolio uh, is very important. And uh, these, uh, uh, these are a partner for the relation and uh, uh, the investment firm. And then because of creation and innovation, new products you know, increased and developed market. You know, uh, uh, the what to increase and stability market huh? and customer process life cycle and living the uh, uh, customer concept life cycle uh, living uh, living focus huh? uh, living uh, focus uh, uh, is a pile of musician, uh, musician journalists song use persons and place to reduce noise quite for series. Uh, and this is a replace an uh, old brand uh, to this new place, uh, a new production, a new product. And then by innovation or impact and security new product, express and pay generate market value. There's a driving, data version uh, with affected uh, to customer. And then product target by customer center, based organization firm, and approve solving smash management. And the others, I to express this. 
uh, diagram. Uh, for this case, uh, for, for, the, for this case, handphone products to both for. And IEA generation is a first of a search, uh, first of a search, but, and then scanning, scanning, uh, who set up business, what business. And then, concern, function, uh, he do, development, simple and excellent for customer. And then making strategy, right, pro, uh, uh, right problem solving, yeah? and go for, for customer. And first of all, value, and target to market, and target to market. And this depends on not the shame, and customer, uh, the requirements. And then commercialization, electronic, vehicle, home type, and affordance to the place and process and activity and uh, focus. And test markets, convenience, positive. Yeah. Produce develop, normal to emotional impact products uh, you can do. And business analysis and market share, revenue, high tech, social effects. I would like to as my one of the teacher. Okay, thank you. You have definitely tried your best and you are improving pretty well. Pretty well on this. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. Next. Uh, yes, this is chapter nine for the developing new products and managing the product life cycle. That's my understanding, the summarize of the chapter. So for the new product plan we develop, we have to start by the idea generation. So mm -hmm. any idea where we came from the hidden idea source, external idea source and crop sources. So then we have to screening our idea. Then after that, we have to develop this concept and testing is workable. Then marketing strategy, we have to develop. So when we do the strategy for the marketing, what is the target market? What is the plan value propositioning? What is sales, market share, and profit goal? We have to define that. After that, we have to start the business analysis. If OK, we can proceed to the product development and test marketing, then we can proceed to the commercialization. So for the new product development, how to manage this one, three kinds of uh, managing, customer center, product development, team based product development, and systematic product development. For the product life cycle strategy, when we start the product, we have the product development time, then introduction time, after the introduction, the growing time, after this growth time, maybe we can get the profit or not, not so sure, maybe in the break even, but when we mature in the stage, we definitely we have to get profit. Then after that, uh, decline the product. So we have to still try to still in the maturity stage. This is very important, I think, for the product life cycle. My question is, uh, with respect for the product life cycle, what challenge does both fix and managing is product portfolio. Uh, I think research and development is a big challenge for the managing this product portfolio. Uh, Boost invested $10 million over 19 years developing the headset technology uh, before they make the profit. So in the product life cycle, definitely product development and introduction stage is the, they use a lot of time for the research and development. They focus research and development to nice retention technology. So in the future, when they go in the market, they most of the airline pilot, uh, so many military, they also using this nice reduction technology. So which is very good access they invented. So another the invention they mentioned in this case study is the automotive suspensions. So this one also they invested hundred millions over the 30 years. 
but they get better the project continuously. They do the research and development keep uh, another question is, can boots continue to maintain an innovative culture without Gamer Boots? Gamer Boots is a, a founder of the uh, Boots product. Uh, recently, they mentioned they, they passed away. So Boots has a philosophy. Uh, this guy, they make the slogan, the better sound through research. So he make the, so many research for to get the better sound and like retention. Boost continues to achieve access to following AMA Boost yeah, basic yeah. philosophy. Uh, this philosophy is this potentially size of market. We really have no idea. We just know that we have technology that is so different and so much better than many people were working. So, well, uh, they, they, they are following this philosophy and they keep going to, for the recession. But definitely, they can continue to maintain an innovative culture, culture without armor boss. I think so. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Any more? I think, I think there's a one person is absent. No more questions there. No more, because he is not around. Okay, all right. You want to take a short break? Before I take into? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. We meet in 10 minutes time. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. go through quickly these four chapters the <clears throat> chapter na uh, 10 11 12 13 and these are the chapters we shall be concentrating during your examination time okay so <clears throat> Okay.
Okay. Now you have mostly gone through the product segmentation targeting. Am I correct? Now today we will go through very quickly the pricing, which is very important part of the marketing that there are three objectives on this chapter. What is a price? And there are three major pricing strategy. And what are the three major? The value perception, the cost of production, and the competitor strategies. These three. So when you are answering case study, you need to focus on the objective one, what is a price? Objective two, the three major pricing strategies. And objective three, identify and define external and internal factors. So this is how I would like to see that when you analyze the case study, you have these three objectives are in your question answer. So objective two is the three major pricing strategies, which you need to find out from the case study. And objective three is what are the external and factors that affect the farm's pr pricing. So when you are attending case study, please remember this three important thing. Now, what is the major pricing strategy? One is the product cost. And one is the consumer perception and value. Just now you presented the Bose company, right? The Bose company, how the consumer, they perceive the value and what is the cost. Then you create the pricing strategy based upon, so one is cost of production, another is how the consumer perceive the product. <clears throat> so, and then what are the external factors are influencing? So this is a very good, uh, very good uh, diagram, which I like it. So what is happening here? The pricing strategy one, what is the cost of production? That means raw materials, the purchasing of raw materials, processing the raw materials and then final product, which you have presented earlier product cost. And then how, how the consumer perceive this product is good, bad, medium, not good. So based upon that perception, then you look at what are the external factors that? So external factors is in the middle, always. But your main interaction will be between these, the production cost and this. So that becomes price, all right? So these need to be really look into very carefully on this. Okay, so. So we go into that's one, then the consumer perception, how the consumer perception. There are consumer perceive in few. One is value based that how the value, they look into this. Now, customer value-based, value, how does value happens? 
that need to understand very clearly on this. Now, customer value based. What is happening? Just now you spoke about both the design of a product, good product, determine product cost, set price based on the products, convince the buyer products and value. So one is there are two types. One is value-based pricing, another is cost-based pricing. So you understand that. Value-based completely depend upon the customer. Customer, but cost-based completely depends upon the product. So these things you need to handle it very carefully. So this is your value-based pricing, cost-based pricing. Good value pricing, everyday low, you know, they, they always, you go to the supermarket, they advertise every low. So now there are cost-based pricing, fixed cost. What are the fixed cost? There's cost-based pricing sets prices based on the producing, distributing, and selling. In the cost-based, you have a fixed cost, the rent, <clears throat> the interest, manpower, variable cost is raw material packaging, total cost. So cost is two types of cost, but you have to see fixed cost, variable cost, and then total cost. Now cost-based pricing is cost per the unit. These are, that means what is the cost to create one particular unit? And cost plus pricing adds a standard markup. So once you see, say, for example, this handphone, this handphone to produce cost maybe $1,000. But that is your cost. But then pricing, but iPhone, they will be charging like $1,500. That $500 is the plus pricing, that needs to be done. Break even pricing, this is the place you must remember this. This is very important in your pricing strategy. Often they look at this break even, break even. Now, break even in a sense that at the break-even point here, 600 thousand units total revenue equals total cost. So you always need to remember this, and this is a very important, and the exam time, they would always ask you question, break-even pricing. So break-even pricing, production cost and selling cost equals to revenue. That need to be understand very clearly. All right, but these are various and you will find your case study, you will have a break even. Now, customer value based, cost based and competition based. So there are three types of pricing strategy, customer, cost based and etc. So this what happened. Now, who should set the price? Market and demand. So demand and supply, there's internet, internal and external consideration pricing decision, the market and demand, the supply and demand. If demand is one unit, but if you are producing 10 units, definitely price need to be slow. Pricing in different, pure competition, monopolistic, oligopolistic, pure monopoly. Now, <clears throat> The demand curve shows the number of units the market will buy in a given period at different prices. So higher price equals to lower demand. This need to be price elasticity and demand. 
is a measure of the sensitivity of demand to changes in the price. So if it is demand is higher, but production is lower, then price will go up. So elasticity, inelastic and elastic demand. Demand hardly changes with a small change in price. Elastic, demand changes greatly with a small change in price. So if demand is related with pricing, that's the time elasticity you have to remember. Economic condition, reseller position, government and social concerns. So these are the things you must remember this. <clears throat> so identify and define the important external and internal objective and mix, organizational considerations, the market and demand, the economy and other external factors. So these are three objectives and this is a very important chapter and I want all of you to concentrate very carefully on this. So you will find the assignment again in this and I want you to look at this particular assignment. Already I have sent this. Okay, now I'm going into the strategies. So 10 is more onto basic and this is additional consideration. And what are the major strategies for pricing new products? Explain how companies find a set of prices that maximize the profits from the total product mix. Discuss how companies adjust their prices to take into account and key issues. So these are the major objectives in your chapter 12. And this is a, a mix product miss pricing strategy. Product line pricing, optional product pricing, captive product pricing, by product pricing and product bundle pricing. So what need to be done and this is a mixed pricing strategy and you will find your case study, they are actually handling this mixed pricing strategy. Now, so can you please uh, mute your mic? Now product line pricing, basically cost differences between products in the line customer evaluation of their features and competitors price. So this one is the product, different product will have a different pricing. Optional takes into account that accessory products along with the main product. Now, like AirAsia, AirAsia selling the ticket, you buy the ticket, the core is flying from Yangon to Bangkok or Yangon to KL. But then you buy optional product pricing, the buy seats, buy food. So those are optional. You may want to buy, I may not want to buy. Now product mix sets prices of product that must be used along with the main product. So what happens is now, when you, the compulsory captive product pricing, some people, they want to look at in a, in a, they want to look at like buying seats is not, is a mandatory flying, but buying the ticket is a mandatory. Now product mix pricing, line byproduct pricing sets a price for byproducts in order to make the main products price more competitive so this is what exactly air asia selling the ticket so byproduct buying seats buying food is the byproduct price adjustment strategy now here is the policy producer a price fixing predatory producer b so producer a 
retail price maintenance retailer price fixing retailer to deceptive pricing consumers so producer b they don't bother about anything just hit to the consumers producer a look into all these factors and then move forward okay so these are various case study segmented pricing again which you have seen the segmentation so segmentation is just not only the demography segmentation based upon customer based upon product based upon location based upon time so now understand now segmentation is just not only geography or demography but also pricing please keep an eye on this now psychographic psychological pricing consider psychology plus and not simply the economics the psychology meaning more the buyer mental condition how they look at this mental condition uh, based upon that they create the pricing adjustment uh, this is a very important how do you adjust pricing based upon promotional you go they will say buy two one free and that's a promotional that need to be look at this now geographical pricing so you have seen the segmented in terms of geographical now you have seen geographical pricing the different parts of the country now mba in yangon tend to be expensive but mba in inner area little cheaper these are price adjustment geographical pricing FOB pre on board is a geographical pricing strategy in which goods are placed pre on board a carrier. The customer pays the freight from the factory to the destination. So what happens? Often, when you buy some goods in China, they say FOB. That means from China to Myanmar, the cost belong to you. That's called geograph FOB. Uniform delivery. So whether you buy in china whether buy in myanmar the same pricing so these are important terminology dynamic pricing that prices are adjustment depending upon individual customer situation international pricing like for example mba in malaysia expensive than mba in yangon those are international pricing so initiating price changes price scar occur due to excess capacity if you have production high demand is lower then you need to price change that one so price change price increase product is hot company greed price cuts new models will be available models are not selling well quality issues so those are price changes now price changes what happen has competitor cut price no hold the current price has competitor yes uh, will lower price negatively affect our market share and profits yes can so these diagram need to be apply responding to customer price changes so whenever you are looking into price changes and need to look at this policy and pricing very important just now we have shown that one that public policy producer a b and how the consumers happening so that need to be looking into very very seriously on this now public policy and pricing across channel levels deceptive pricing occurs when a seller states prices or price savings that mislead consumers or are not actually available to consumers uh, this is a very important please remember that honesty in pricing is the most important bogus references or comparison prices scanner fraud and price confusion and this is a very very important 
that pricing channel, channel meaning that agents which you are applying. So all throughout the channels, your pricing should be important. All right. Now, again, I have sent you this assignment. Please make sure this company case you handle as per concept and so forth. Now, chapter 12, marketing channels. Channels meaning you employ agents. Agents, how channel members interact and how they organize to perform. A major channel alternative. So these are three objectives. You must know this. And, and how those channel members work. The nature and importance of marketing channels, how channel members add value. So this is the manufacturer, uh, how a distributor reduces the number of channel transactions. So this is one customer. And so there are two types of scenario you will find here. Now, look at this is your number A and this is your uh, okay. Now, this diagram, this diagram is manufacturer and customer directly. That means selling direct. But this diagram is not direct, is via distributor. So there are the channel members add value. Now, this manufacturer eight is directly going. So if you look at this particular diagram is very much con very much congested. Am I correct? But here very straightforward, very straightforward. So like supermarket, the exactly this model is a supermarket model. Now channel members add value information, promotion, contact, matching, negotiation, physical distribution, financing, risk taking. Now, number of channel levels, various number of channel levels you will find. And as we go along, we will explore later on. So now look at this particular. So producer, Producer looking into consumer directly. But producer, they're going into retailer, retailer to consumer. So this is only one level. But to come to this channel three, you are crossing these two channels. Wholesaler, retailer, but here, so you need to understand this mechanism as well. Now this one, if it is, this is directly consumer. This one is like business customer. Business customer direct or again two level, again three level. That need to be understood. Now, how channel members interact and how they organize to perform. Now. This is channel behavior, channel conflict, disagreement among channel members over goals, roles, and rewards. Now, vertical marketing system. What is the vertical marketing system that need to be understood very clearly? Now, vertical marketing system, you have 
producer to wholesaler, wholesaler to retailer, retailer to consumer. This is conventional. That vertical market system, what is happening? See this producer and wholesaler, they are operating in the same level. And that's the vertical. So before consumer gets it, so many people are involved. Now, multi-channel distribution system, the multi-channel, what is happening? Producer, again, consumer segment one, consumer segment two, business segment one. And this is a very important, and you will find your case study is based upon this one. So what is happening? Can you see that again? You have studied segmentation, right? So here is segment one, segment two, business segment one, business segment two. Now consumer segment one, you will see no in between. But here consumer segment two, you have retailers. From retailer, it comes to consumer. You have producer to distributor, distributor to the dealers, dealers to, so three levels. And business segment to directly sales force. So this is what multi-channel distribution system, you need to do this. Okay, so major channel on is open to company. What are the major channel? Consumer needs channel objectives, evaluating channel alternatives, and identify. So these are, then you need to have major alt intensive distribution, exclusive distribution, selective distribution. Sometime one agent say, okay, Yangun, you cannot keep any more anybody. So those, now how do you evaluate your particular channel will be very good based upon economic criteria, control issue, adaptability. That needs to be done. Finally, the how companies select, motivate, and evaluate channel members. Selecting channel members, managing, motivating, evaluating. These are the four stages that you need to handle your agent. Now, the finally, the marketing logistics, physical distribution. You see big, big lorries, trucks, sheep carrying. So that need to handle. Nature and importance of marketing logistics. Here it is company. So few things need to understand this part. Now, two types of, one is inbound logistic and one is outbound logistics. Inbound supplier is sending to company and then outbound cup, company to reseller and then resales to customers. These are all outbound and that you must understand very clearly. Major logistic function, warehousing, inventory, transportation, logistic information system. So integrated logistic management is the recognition that providing customer service and trimming distribution cost this is a very, very important strategy. Finally, nature and importance of marketing logistics, major lost function. So these are associated with your, this one. Again, I have sent you the assignment and you will handle the case study is company case, Apple Pay. Taking mobile, this is a very good, case study, which I like it, and you will enjoy though. Okay.
chapter 13 you will find retailing direct marketing and wholesaling these are objectives and retailing concern with the sale of goods and services to ultimate so directly the consumers buying type of ownership promotion so type of ownership permanent strategy independent retailers chain store corporate chain retail franchise so these are five types of retailers you retailer directly how do you reach in store directly narrow variety deep selection personalized service examples wallpapers so chain operation wide variety so you have a department store you have a supermarkets you have a convenience store you have a other sin store these are directly retail store so you need to understand direct marketing which i don't have to explain internet retailing don't have to explain you are smart enough inter disadvantage examination privacy internet what are the disadvantage you need to know this the wheel of retailing high status margin conventional mass so these are four diagram you must know this the dialectic view of uh, retail department store thesis discount store antithesis discount synthesis now general specific store population growth specific specialty store population growth cities retail marketing means look at these four eh? these four chapters you should concentrate very clearly for your exam product place distribution price promotion and the finally consumer now what are the key retail issues merchandise location atmosphere store image classifying wholesaler merchant wholesaler genen agent wholesale management strategy strategic alliances select targeting markets create physical distribution and the finally you must look at the review of the entire strategy retailing wholesaling categorize retailers analyze patterns identify key retailer strategy elements explore impact of the internet retailing so these are basically all these have been discussed in the previous chapters so that's your chapter 13 and in chapter 13 again have given the case study all right now i want you to concentrate very carefully these four chapters rather three chapters 10 12 and 13 focus on these are the hard core marketing okay so that's all for for today's discussion cover 10 11 12 13 10 12 11 12 13 and 13 these three are very very important chapters in your hardcore marketing all right any question yes, you have mm, no question sir okay good so thank you very much i'll see you next week sunday and uh, next week sunday we will cover 14 15 16 17 on yeah. the 5th of july and i will wait for your case study and we will take it up from there yeah when can we know about the exam type uh, i'll send you email by tonight yes sir okay yes sir all right
no need to worry you are doing case study very well that's most important once yeah. you know how to handle case study i don't have to worry about your final exam yes sir okay all right thank you and stay safe enjoy yourself thank you sir thank you bye